Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3, Root.com, and uh, for this week's AOSP ROM of the week for the Note 3, um, if you have any uh, Qualcomm based Note 3, which includes uh, AT&T T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, SMN9005, Canadian, um, but you can't install it on AT&T and Verizon because of the locked bootloaders, but if you have developer edition with an unlocked bootloader, then you can go ahead and install it also. Uh, anyway, this is probably one of the best ROMs out there if you want a full AOSP, pure Google experience. Um, you just hate TouchWiz, uh, but you got to get on this. Um, and this is my other daily driver. I'm running it on my T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3. Again, you can install it on other variants, uh, T-Mobile Sprint, um, SMN9005, SMN900W8, all those good phones. Uh, this ROM is super fast. Uh, I've noticed with TouchWiz, uh, I have this Litecoin widget that I use. I can only add up to three, but the performance on this uh, phone with this ROM is so much faster, I can actually put many widgets. Um, you know, there are some things that's wrong with TouchWiz, and uh, this ROM does fix all that. And it is just super fast. And I even got a custom kernel, um, lean kernel, which also you can install along with it. And let me show you about phone. A Resurrection Remix ROM, baby. A lean kernel, it is awesome. Uh, when you first install it, it's a little bit laggy, but um, give it like a few minutes and it starts going super duper fast. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the settings with this ROM. It does have a ton of customization. Uh, if you go to settings, you'll be able to find Resurrection tools. Now, Resurrection Remix ROM was probably started with the Galaxy S2. Um, I started covering it. And the developer of this ROM is uh, right here. Um, really, really good West Crip, and uh, don't forget to donate to him and follow him on Twitter. Um, he's been making some excellent ROMs with the S2, uh, and uh, I've seen him making some other ROMs for other phones, but um, this is his latest work with the Note 3, and uh, it is just nearly flawless. Um, Resurrection Tools, this is where you can uh, customize all of your stuff. Um, so this, think of it as uh, Nexus 5, pure Google. Android ROM with all these things you can do. A status bar, um, you can enable the outcoming and incoming of your traffic monitor there, up there, uh, which is nice. And also battery bar, you can enable battery status uh, icon, you can change it to the following stuff there. Uh, show 4G network instead of LTE if you want it. And let me go ahead and turn off my Wi Fi to show you. LTE or uh, you can get 4G. Um, I'll leave it on 4G there. Brightness control, this is great. Um, you can go ahead and slide to the left, slide to the right, hold it, uh, control your bri brightness, show notification count, um, that will show you notification in your icons here. Uh, so all that standard stuff um, you've seen with AOSP ROMs, if you've tried other ROMs, um, you will be able to see with this one. Uh, when you pull down to the right, you'll get the quick toggles. To the left, you'll get your notification there. Now, if you want to make it smart pull down, oops, sorry, quick pull down, you can go ahead and change that to the left uh, or right. There we go, vice versa. I like it on the right. A smart pull down, this is also, um, this is also great. Uh, it will show you quick settings when there's notif uh, notification. So whether you go left or right, there's no notification, it will, Enable the smart pull down. Um, so, very good stuff. Tile styles, you get uh, a bunch of different styles here. Um, you can change the background color. Let's go ahead and just change it um, just for fun. It's going to look a little bit weird, probably. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Tiles per row, you can make this into five. So, that makes it pretty neat. Let me go ahead and change it back to uh, white there. And that will actually reset the UI. That's why it's doing that. Ooh, oh well. Let's just keep it there. I'll change it later. Sound modes, screen timeouts. Um, so all kind of good stuff. Dynamic tiles. And then let's go to notification drawer here. Uh, notification drawer styles. All right, good stuff there. Um, let's go ahead and go to some of the stuff like recent app bar. You can go ahead and get this cool uh, recent app bar here. It looks pretty cool, right? Um, so good stuff there. And uh, let me go ahead and show you a progress bar. You can uh, edit this. Expanded desktop style, buttons layout. 
A bunch of good stuff. Left-handed mode for those of you left-handed. Hardware buttons, you can customize all your buttons here. Um, lock screen, you can go ahead and add. Active display, this is great. You can get notifications, um, lock screen notifications, and pocket mode, all this good stuff here. Um, so you'll be able to see your notifications uh, straight from your lock screen. And I've got the blurred out um, here. Uh, I've got to show you that here. A blur screen background, that's where you can do it. And it makes it look kind of cool, so I like it. Uh, advanced stuff here. Omni switch, if you need it, you can go ahead and enable this. I'll have to reboot to show you, but uh, basically it's kind of like a Pi control. Uh, screen recording, you can go ahead and screen record and check it. Um, show Wi-Fi network name. Um, battery around unlock ring, double tap to sleep. Uh, screen recording on the power dialog. So there's the screen recording and also battery around ring uh, makes it easy to see. All right, Resurrection Remix update. So if you need new versions, you can go ahead and use um, this here. Oops, no configure. Uh, not sure why it's not working, but it should be working. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that feature is not working yet, but it should be working in the future versions. And that's pretty much it. And you got the pitch black here, which will make everything darker uh, and give you a slightly cool theme here, red and black. Um, so very nice stuff. Uh, performance and also home launcher. You can go ahead and change your launcher. I'm using Nova Launcher, which it comes with, or you can get uh, the regular KitKat launcher. Performance, let me go ahead and show you. Um, if you're using the lean kernel with it, uh, change this to from row to deadline to a deadline or no operation or no op. And uh, that makes it a little bit better, I think. Um, as you can see, you can overclock up to 2.7 gigahertz. Wow. Um, you don't have to. Don't do that if you're going to run uh, with the best battery life. But you can go ahead and turn that on if you're playing games or something. Or you just want to go super fast. And also, you got DSP Manager on board here. Um, you can tweak your sound now. If you want to tweak your sound even further, go ahead and grab Viper for Android, uh, and you'll be able to go super fast. Um, now, with AOSP ROMs, you're going to lose all of your Samsung TouchWiz magical abilities, such as your IR remote. Uh, but you can go ahead and download like remotes such as this one, and uh, you'll be able to use it. I mean, it's not uh, the same. Um, but it still works and also for S Pen there's a bunch of alternative S Pen apps um, so this ROM is definitely not for those of you who want to use who use all of the TouchWiz features or multi-window and all that good stuff um, this ROM is really for those of you uh, who want to you know turn your phone into like a Nex Super Nexus 10 or something or Super Nexus 5 or uh, whatever you want to call it anyway looking pretty nice here um, so definitely check it out for this week's probably if you're looking for a good KitKat AOSP Pure Google with a ton of customization um, definitely you can't go wrong with this and yeah that's about it so definitely check it out if you have um, preference for AOSP ROMs check it out for this week's ROM of the week love this ROM this is my other daily driver on my T-Mobile Note 3 again you can install it on any uh, Qualcomm based LT enabled Note 3 such as AT&T T-Mobile Sprint Verizon SMN 9005 uh, SM and 900WA Canadian um, for AT&T Verizon again you can only install it if you have a developer edition anyway thanks guys for watching this video um, try it out do let me know and as always uh, stay high on Android yeah